I think, you know, crypto has been around for a few years, but slowly people started talking more about blockchain and blockchain technology. And, and really, I think that was the point that we as a Formula One team started to get really interesting. I mean, there's two angles. There's the fan engagement side of things, but there's also kind of that blockchain technology, what Binance Labs can do with us to help us maybe do wider things. And I think that was really the defining moment. And that's kind of where we are on the journey now. So I guess like most sports, you start with NFTs. We've got into things like fan tokens. We can talk more about those. But they're kind of the starting point that then opens all these other questions of, hey, Web3, that really could go somewhere. Why can't we, in this kind of F1 technology innovation mindset, be one of the early adopters, work with Binance and kind of push the boundaries and, I guess, increase the adoption? Absolutely. And I think, um, you know, we're, we're, we're proud to partner with you. And, and, and in, in taking Web3 and blockchain technology out, out to the masses and making them realise that it's, uh, it's, it's an inclusive way of, you know, being part of, of what you love, whether that's music or uh, art or, and uh, sport. So how have you found the, uh, you know, fan token perspective? What's the fan engagement been like? Uh, uh, is there knowledge there? Is there engagement there at the moment? Is there work to be done in that, in that regard? I think, you know, again, there's probably two groups, you know, we've got a wide age range in Formula One. And I think it's that kind of inclusive thing you're talking about of how do you actually get that education piece of what crypto is, how it's actually accessible to all. I mean, we saw the launch of NFTs and, you know, it's very elitist, very kind of hype around, you know, astronomical prices. But I think behind that, that's where things like the fan token really make it accessible um, and, and everyone can kind of adopt it. You know, there's a price point where fans can really get in and support their team. But equally, it's the kind of fan token engagement. Now being that, it's kind of a membership feeling. So it's to bring that engagement to fans that may not be at the NFT kind of price point. It's something that everyone can do. They can get involved in voting. They can get involved in competitions. So it's that kind of real engagement and one-to-one -one with your fans that maybe you just wouldn't get through social media. It's incredible. It is, it is the, the evolution of fan engagement. Um, and, and, and bringing them in so they, I guess they're not bystanders of culture anymore. They're sort of shareholders in it, in a way. Yeah, and I think that's the difference. You know, fan tokens were new to us. What exactly does that mean? What can you do? But I think that kind of shareholder thing, you know, fans would never get to be a shareholder of an F1 team, but actually by being a fan token holder, it's exactly that level of accessibility. You know, we are really looking at the utility programs we can do, mega exclusive competitions. You know, recently we had a, a Binance winner drive an F1 car. <laughs> you know, when in history has that scenario ever come up? So it's being able to do these really cool things that a fan token can unlock that's just never been possible before. It's fantastic. And I, I think what, what I'd love to, to get from you uh, in terms of, you know, your, your expertise in terms of technology and innovation, what would you like to see uh, happen? It's still very early days in, in, in the world of fan tokens. What, are there any things that you, you can already see that would benefit this type of fan reward? I think the first thing is probably getting the wider adoption. You know, I think it was mentioned in one of the Binance opening speeches that you know there's around 300 million crypto users currently. Formula One's got an active fan base of 1.5 billion mm. regularly watching the races. So I think that's kind of just let's carry on with the awareness, the adoption, just people understanding what Binance, what crypto, what the Alpine fan token's all about. And we're doing that through the kind of typical fan engagement, social media, exclusive competitions I mentioned. So I think, you know, let's just establish what it's all about, do the education piece. And then I think, yeah, we're looking to build, you know, what can you do with the fan token? How do we maybe take it into immersive Web3 metaverse type environments? Mm. Maybe you can use the fan token for gaming in the metaverse and somehow that is somehow linked to the real on track racing that we're doing. So I think it's that kind of virtual physical crossover that web is yet to unlock, but that's really kind of, again, let's get in there early and see what we can do together. And it's exhilarating, isn't it? Yeah. It's, so, it's so early in the, in, the, uh, in the story of crypto and Web3. Um, uh, what's your, what's your, what your take on the metaverse in terms of the opportunities it presents? Again, taking fan engagement to, to another level. Um, 
what's your what's your take on, on where that could lead? Um, I think again that comes down to the immersive kind of engagement. How do you make a fan have an interactive experience? You know, social media and web two, it's very delivered content, managed content. Mm. There's very little kind of reciprocal input a, a fan can give. And I think that's really where we're looking for the metaverse. Maybe the first thing we can do is gaming in the metaverse. Let's take our kind of racing background and, and move that into the metaverse, but in a very accessible way. You haven't got to be a world champion in a junior formula. It really is open. And we can, again, have kind of fan token driven tournaments, prizes, kind of aspirational levels to increase where the everyday fan can really go in this kind of immersive metaverse that I think we can build. It's fascinating. And I guess with the nature of, of fan tokens, as they are in their, in, in their current state, going through that process, fans would have a chance to have a say in how that played out in terms of development potentially as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, already with the fan token, we've been doing things kind of in our esports platforms. You know, you can f vote for favourite liveries, you can design the helmet colours for our F1 race drivers. You know, very entry level things, but again, it's upping that interactivity. And I think through NFTs and fan tokens, actually letting the fans buy things. You know, let's, have, let's create utilities and real engagements with transactions you can make with a fan token. Maybe you can unlock some really exclusive content in the game. We've done mystery boxes where you can get prizes that again unlock key assets in certain games, whether that's kind of GT racing, Le Mans virtual, Formula One. There's again lots of different ways where you can use, I guess, prizes and the chance of getting something really special within the metaverse to just unlock new features.